look out for Shishmi Beverly. Another episode, right, taken off straight from the last time, my last video. Um, watch it if you haven't already, if you're interested. Right, so what we need to do is uh, get the initial stuff done. Now, one of the other reasons why I've done it this way, which I forgot to mention, is this uh, splitter. Because at the moment I've only got one source of copper ingots. Now, the reason why I didn't just bring these, excuse me, the conveyor belts down and then just take it that way is because sometimes I will need to split them. Now, this one is quite nicely situated, right slap bang in the middle there. So, if I put that there, bring that to there. I'm not going to do it just yet, but bring that to there, and then that can go around and through that way. I won't bring it this way because I want to keep it tight. this one section tidy, you see. And if I want to, which I probably will, I can put an... Uh, a bridge over for me to walk on but what I can I, I shall do is I will bring this to here uh, to there and then bring this around so it's nice and squared off and then to here and then bring that around there so it's nicely squared off there and pretty close to there actually now what I'm gonna do as well I'm gonna put an, a one here just on this side of the join and then put another one just here I can't afford it I need to get some more um, plates that's fine excuse me why I well I just uh, go and uh, craft Uh, I've got 12 rods, so I'll do some a few rods as well, maybe about 20, 30, something like that, 40 perhaps. Maybe 50. 48, okay. <laughs> I went overshot, but never mind, that's fine, I don't mind. It's not rocket science, you know. Which is probably good. <laughs> no, no, I, I shan't pull myself down too much. I'm sure anybody else watching can do a better job than me. Um, that shit joke might be a bad one, but it is still a joke. Right, so bring that to there and then that to there. Reason being is so if I do need to modify anything, I can just uh, basically dismantle just that section and it's not going to be poking everything out that way uh, up down left right etc and one here just so it actually bends up this way nicely to there so that's that obviously I'm not going to connect it up to here just in case I do need to change things and I don't want to have uh, a lot of stuff in my inventory 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 whichever way you want to say it right so i am going to put another splitter no i'm not no i don't need another splitter but what i'm going to do is that is there i'm going to put that right slap bang in the middle there and that's going to be straight actually on the join there and that has to be about here just so I can get it round and in the middle there. It has to be in the middle because that's there, if that makes sense. Yes, I know it's going to be a bit awkward should I um, want to pass any more stuff down than I already am. But considering that all I need here are for this section is the iron and uh, copper 
that's fine. But if I need to run a, a secondary something something down here, then I've got uh, I've got the space for it. Now I contradicted myself, didn't I? I said I was going to put that there. There you go. You see. That's that sorted out. Now I can just bring this on the conveyor belt up this way, and that's there. Now, what it means as well is the copper is going to go that way, and the iron is going to go that way, just to keep it nice and separated, and so it's not going to mess things up. So. I need to check a couple of things out, though it's not actually going to work, is it? Okay, right. Hmm. So, first things first, and I'm going to stop saying so, so much. Uh, I'm just dawdling because I'm thinking. Right. Uh, you can go there and I'm going to bring you past here to here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some storage in as a buffer storage and I'm going to have the lines coming down this way with the constructors and things like that that so um, I'm for this section I will just be making plates and rods but I'm gonna be trying to make as many of them as I can now I do have lots of space so I can s spread it out and I'm gonna get rid of that So, I just need constructors. So, what kind of space is going to be required? It's going to go. Oh, so if I put makeup one, I usually keep things in the. I can actually. I can do that. That's not a problem. What was I thinking? Right. So, I need a storage container and I'll stick that on number six for now and I still need space for splitters because I need to get this splitted off but I want it split evenly so that's going to be one two three and one two three so three three production lines here for rods three production lines for uh, steel plate iron plate sorry so mm, yes I'll put it here so that's there and that is facing the correct way so I need more plate okay I should have died Uh, get rid of those petals. I'll get rid of that for now. Just so I've got some space. Right. Now it does make it easier as well if I am going to use three sections, three runs of each. Because that means I need a split that incoming conveyor belt into two and then those will feed into three and I know that will mean that I'll get very few actual resource coming in once all of that uh, stuff is in the storage boxes is used up and even then it'll not be that much because of the speed of the conveyor belts that's fine 
once I start upgrading the conveyor belts, that will help. And also once I upgrade the miners, that will help. So it's it's going to look a little bit sparse on the conveyor belts once the, um, it burns through all of the, the stuff that's in the storage, the buffer storage boxes, but that's fine. Now I know I'm going to have to make some reinforced plate later on but I've got 30 here already so I'm quite happy with the number I've got now. And I know I need to get the power sorted out. That's, that's fine as well. So we'll get a couple more in. So, them are for one production. That's another, and that's another production that is set there. Okay, so. Splitters. That needs to come in that way. That needs to be lined up here. Now I'm going to put it here. So we've got some space. So if I do need to make any modifications, there's room for to do it. Uh, and that's that. So now I need to get that tidied up a bit. I need a splitter here. Uh, which will bring this one in and then split that into two. I will put that there. And bring this down here and put a block here. So instead of just putting there, I'm going to put it here and then curve that round so it's nice and squared off. And I put it in the wrong place, haven't I? Yeah. Hmm. My bad. No, no, I was right. No, no. No, no. Ignore me. I'm having another one of my senior moments. Right, so again, I'm going to bring this to onto there. From there onto there. Then I shall bring this round. Uh... To there and then into there just to keep it that's not very neat is it how has it got in an invalid shape that is really weird I'm just going to stick it straight through. There we go. So. I'll get this in to here. And then that can go straight into there. That can go straight into there. And then that. I'll bring that to about here. And then that. That's not forward enough. I know I'm being obsessive. There. And then that will go into there. That will go into here. That's fine. There. And there, there. Uh, 
I've made a boo boo, haven't I? Not really. Not really, because this one is the copper. So I'm doing copper on this side. So, yeah, that's going to be copper. And again, it's the same thing, except it's I'm going to be putting making wire. Um, for the moment, all of it is going to go in. I'm quite happy about that. If anybody's been shouting at the, the YouTube video, going, you brought it the wrong way. Uh, okay, I've realised. But not really the wrong way, because I was going to do it this way anyway. Exactly the same up to that point. So now we'll make a mirror image here. Bring that to here. Where's that? That's on to the side. So that's here. There we go. Now, it means that we've also got this area here. Should I need to expand uh, later? So... Have I got enough for, the, for these? Yes, I've got enough for some. So let's see what uh, space we've got here. So that's... One, two, mm, I'll do it this way. Count the squares basically. So one, two, that, one, two, and then this. Mm. Hold on. That's the middle, so it's here actually. Sorry. That's going to make things a little bit different on this side. It's not going to be. Symmetrical, but that's it, doesn't have to be so one, two. Sorry, I was just thinking about moment three, four. I need some rods. I'll just make some more. I'll make a few plates as well. How are we doing for time? Fine. Yeah, I know I got a little bit confused there for a moment, but that is also another reason why I didn't put the connect the conveyor belts up to the storage box until I I was sure what I was doing basically. Right, I'll get a hundred rods. There we go, and a hundred and one plate. I don't know, I haven't put the actual uh, manufacturing uh, side of things in yet. That's fine, I'm just getting these storage, buffer storage boxes in. So one, two, three, four, and then I need two more of these in here. That is correctly placed. And there we go there. Okay, so... That is in alignment with that one, so that's going to be slightly out of alignment for this, unless I move this, which I will do. So, split up. That has to be yellow. Input arrow there. Uh, you'll want to, so you're there. It is going to be slightly out. So I'll put you hmm okay I'll do it this way so there 
that has to be up in a little bit just because of the way I'm gonna do it on this one that's that's fine there there we go that's so close I'm just gonna put that mm, no I won't I'll do it that way keep it neat if it was close I would I wouldn't bother doing it like this I would just put it straight in there we go. There we go. There we go. As I say, it's, I'm going to end up with. Very lackluster um, supplies to begin with. I know, but that's fine. Right, so we got that. Um, I need another splitter. I could bring another conveyor belt from another storage box, but I, I want them for other things as well, so I'm not going to do that. So I'll put you... Put you here, actually. How does it have an invalid shape? Oh, hold on. You're strange. Right, there. There. And then you come up down here and into there. There we go. Now I'll join that up. Uh, this one. So this one is going to be coming down here and get made into wire. I know it's going to be a lot of wire, but I need a lot of wire because I'll be using cable, making cable and all that kind of stuff. Now this here, we're going to have uh, plates and rods or rods and plates, whichever. I know that will mean that there'll be less production of them than this but bearing in mind that I've only got one feed coming in of copper which will be split off at some point I don't know exactly when but there'll be less available copper coming in for a while there's a lot of iron available because if you remember on the path leading in I've got a few mines m miners uh, and smelters supplying one conveyor belt so when I upgrade the conveyor belt we will get a lot of resources coming in to feed this so that's fine so now I need constructors I need 12 constructors six here six there so just to make sure I keep on top of things, I'll go into here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That tells me I need another 6 reinforced iron plate. Which I can do quite quickly because I've already got 30 of them done. So I'll grab a couple of them. Because I need some more screws and rods and plate. But I only need six reinforced plate. So I need more screws. Two, three, four, five, 
six. There we go, spot on. Uh, I've got 42 plate. I'll make some more plate. I'll just burn this off onto into plate. Now, also, what I'll do on my way back, I'll drop that uh, copper, those copper ingots, back into the the uh, storage box because there's quite a bit there, and I don't want to waste it. Yes, I know that's that's pretty rich coming from me. Ba -da -de -de -de. There we go. Okay, I'll make that one more just to use of that so it's not uh, taking up an inventory slot. Okay, that's full because of what's uh, already stacked up in the uh, thing. So what I'll do is I'll just control drag there and sort that and there you go. So constructors need to make sure that these are lined up. There we go. I will. I will have enough uh, cable. Now this is pretty much blocking any uh, access around the edges of these uh, constructors because they're so close together. That is absolutely fine. And then there's that one there. One, two. Three, four, five, and then this will fit in nicely just there. There we go. I know I don't have any power for this, for these yet, but that's fine. I haven't even got cables. But that goes into there. That goes into there. into there now of course I've got six sets of uh, wire three will be wire and three will be made into cable that probably won't change but if it does it'll only be because I'm getting some alternate recipes all right so now we've got this here so let's have a look at sorting out some power so I'm gonna bring this to here just in case I need to run any cables down that way And then I'm going to just bring this straight up here. I can't afford because I need some wire. There we go, you see. Now the iron ingots is going to be different because I need um, plate, I need rods, and I need screws. However, now that I'm using six in total, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange them slightly differently to just three by three what I'm gonna do and I probably will stick with it is two feeds will go to make plate four will go to make 
VODs. Two of the VOD feeds will then go to be further processed into screws. So I'll end up with two conveyor belts with screws, two conveyor belts with VODs, and two conveyor belts with um, plates. Now what I'll do is I'll put one there and I'll put one there. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's fine. And this is going to be the two main power buses. So that can go there, that can go there. At no point will machinery be attached to these poles to get power to these what I'll do is I'll put one here one here and one at the end here so that will go to there that goes to there that goes to there that then goes to here that goes to there that goes to there, and then another one goes to here, and then that goes to there. It also goes to there. And then if I needed to, there's an extra spare, a spare one, which I can then lead off somewhere else onto another one, and that's the way I'm going to do that. So we'll do the same again. Space of one. space of two and a space of three that to there that to there that to there and same again that goes to there I need the cable okay I'll go make some cable How much wire do I have? 249, okay. Don't need a huge amount of cable. I'll probably do 25-ish. There we go. Now, when I first switch these on, there's going to be a load of ingots available just because they are filling up the, uh, the buffer storage. Once these have been running for a while, then I'll be able to see exactly what the supply situation is going to be like. And there we go. So, now, rods 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 plate and plate and all of these are going to be wire I know I'm going to have an abundance of wire and cable but I want an abundance of wire and cable because a lot of the research requires wire or cable so there you go. Now that should be connected to the mains. It is because you can see the capacity and consuming is nothing because there's not no power. Now from here, I need to make another 12 storage. Do we have 12 storage or the resources to make 12? There we go. So got plenty plate but we need some more rods and that's because I want buffer I want the uh, the buffer storage now we've got plenty no we don't I'll get uh, some more ingots I do like 
the little um, to-do list thing that the devs put in it does make things a lot easier just to keep on top of. Now I need more than 120 iron rods because I'll be needing some for uh, conveyor belts and that kind of thing. Uh, as same with plates. So I'll do 150 rods and then I'll just dump the rest into plate so I've got spare. It's also a very good job that the conveyor belts don't use power. They don't need to have a, a, a power connection because th uh, that would be absolutely nightmarish to keep enough power to everything. And then everything would grind to an immediate halt once you lose power. Instead of still um, transferring things between storage buffers. So we do have enough for those storage containers. <coughs> Same thing is going to happen as we did before. That is lined up correctly. And there we go. Get that aligned. I'm using my left control key just to snap. Though it's not a, a true snap sometimes it's mo sometimes it's like a semi snap and find the magic pixel to get it lined up with what you want particularly if there's several possible snap points you're snapping to and sometimes it is very difficult to ascertain which snap points which if each um, snap point at that particular instance used a different color just to go oh uh, you know and then highlight the object the building that you're snapping to in that same color that would remove any problems with that but it's not so much a, a, a huge issue because you don't really get penalized for um, dismantling buildings so that's okay right so we've got these we've got them all set we need power now I know I've got all of this space here one two three four five six reason being is because at some point I will probably need to put another set of um, assembly lines in here and that's fine I can do that and I need to come this way I will put some kind of walkway around those edges there at some point but not right now so that's all going nice so what I need to do now is I need to get some uh, some more biomass so uh, Now, I haven't cleared this, I'm going to clear that out. Uh, I haven't cleared this area of those, the local inhabitants, shall we say. But what happened last time was they, like that giant one disappeared on its own. And I think that might have been what happened uh, to these ones that tend to guard the resource areas and just wander around in this part. Maybe the area of effect for my building uh, despawned them. Yes, I am deliberately cutting these down cards. They're going to get paved over basically. Uh, 
getting there, getting there. And I'll also have to run back and fill up those other burners, the power plants. That's fine. I don't mind now and again running back until I get the coal power plants. That's one of them giant tick things wandering around. That sounds like an elephant. Well, it does to me. Okay, clear this section off. I could bring the uh, biomass burners, generators up here, but really for the length of time I'm going to be actually using them <coughs> it's it's I don't really see the point because once I get the coal uh, generators in it's set them away give them ample f uh, you know fuel to guzzle on and um, forget about them So they can be down there. Later on, I will probably start building some kind of uh, gen uh, power station complex up here. But not right now. Right, that's enough. Now just make sure I did, yes I did, I did select all of them, yeah, so I'll make this biomass and start distributing it in the um, generators. How are we doing? 42? Okay. Did I get anything on the re researching? No I didn't, okay. Right, I don't need the petals yet, and there'll be plenty more opportunity for petals later. I will need to build a couple more power plants when I'm down uh, where the, the generators are because I've built some more, well quite a few more uh, power hungry buildings uh, get rid of you I'm going to get rid of you actually and you just for space So I'll make sure I've got enough. I'm going to store that fruit, fruit and nut. Uh, now I do have a craft bench and uh, the equipment bench down in the uh, at the outpost. So if I did need to make any more fuel, I can. Because I want to put full 200 stacks in each, so I don't have to keep on running backwards and forwards. So that's coming up to four full stacks that is not enough but I'll stick two in here I'll go down I'll clear out some more leaves etc down there 
as I say I'll store that and that there we go put them in here oh actually yes forgot about that stuff that's already there okay so I'm gonna run down As I said in the last video, there are quite a few slugs about. Even if some of them are protected by the gas cloud of death. I only jump there because I like to jump now and again. It is only a Mark 1 conveyor belt. It's not going to be whis whisking me in the wrong direction. Now, the length of time that the power's been out, these are still bringing resources over. <laughs> well, most of them. There is one, two empty conveyor belts. Oh, there's a few empty conveyor belts there now. Right, drop down there. This is why I've got this space here. If I did need to, if there was some strange thing that I discovered, it, I could quite easily run another uh, conveyor belt down these quite easily. I don't anticipate that being a thing. If for some reason I needed to transport goods down the other way back to here, then I could also use this channel for that as well. In case you're wondering about this section, it's I had to raise this up just to get past that those little bits that's uh, egressing, ingressing onto the pathway there. Egressing's the opposite. I know. Okay, we've got two generators still working. Or animating. Anyway, okay, yeah, they're not working, they're just animating. Curious. Right, short that. Right, I will need to go grab some more. But I've got plenty to harvest around not getting too close to the gas cloud of death and there's that wet splodgy sound from the dry limestone powder Okay, you are not playing the game there. I'll grab that one and then I'll come back round and get it from another angle. I'll get some. Okay, we've got you. Easily irritated creature plant things. Now, of course, through there is a large area next to the starting point. So there's mines and resources, etc. there, which I haven't tapped into yet. I'll give you another chance. There isn't even grass or anything that I could use to... 
lock on to and I'm not jumping down there just yet okay there can I grab that cabbage without getting injured just only just uh, how many we've got okay I'll get a, another couple of clumps of tree I might just be able to sneak in and grab that there we go these and then convert this into biofuel there we go oh, well, we'll grab that bit there there we go alright I've got the workshop and the craft benched here and so biomass and then that biomass and that biofuel And that it'll give me a little bit um, of a uh, few to keep in my inventory for the uh, chainsaw. There we go. Right. I still have to build a couple, I've just remembered. couple more generators that's okay uh, fuel and fuel and I fill that up now I'm just gonna see what uh, how much power I actually need quite a bit more okay I need a hundred and forty Uh, no, that is the capacity. I need more than that. Okay, show. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. I will stick these here. That uses one space. So I will. I'll just fit them that way, like that. That's enough, actually, I think. All right. Just so I can get in, and I need iron rod. Uh, I don't have any, but I can just grab some from over here. Okay, so I can't. Okay. I'll just burn, manually burn up some ore. Inglets. I've got 92 plate, that's that's enough. There we go. Oh, 
25 cable. I've got 19 cable, that should be enough. Right, shoot. Vet. Vet. Alright, I'm gonna put two. Just manually place them there. One there. One there. That goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there. That goes to there, and that goes to there. There we go. Of course, I need some more um, biofuel. Which is fair enough. So, I need 400, 600. It'll not take long. Because we've got quite a lot of fair uh, tree trees here and leaves, etc. How's about that for the environment, eh? How are we doing for time? Okay, not bad, not bad. a slug there as well because I haven't touched that one yet nor have I touched the Mercer sphere or Mercer sphere yet that's in the water gonna leave that to later on because I do believe it's still work in progress so it's, it's pointless getting them I'm just making my way back now but not that way though here get this done then I can turn the power on and then go back to the hub and now of course seeing I've moved the hub to the manufacturing hub I can just say I can go back to the hub because it's valid for either <laughs> okay it's just the way my brain works And then before I finish this episode, I'll go back, uh, have a look, make sure that everything's working. By the time that I get back there, then there should be quite a few things started to be produced. Uh, get rid of you. Uh, Just getting some space so I can start manufacturing the biofuel. And that's a lot of biofuel, which is good. Take it back to the hub and then I can store what I don't use. It's quite quick to, to process this says I
Channel wise, yes, I know my YouTube channel is growing exceptionally slowly. That's fine. Uh, last time I looked, I had seven subscribers. And going at the time of recording, um, I don't mind. Um, I was a, a, a partner before they changed the rules, and I've got a new channel now, so. I, I wouldn't be eligible until I got lots of stuff, and I'm, I'm not really. I, even if I did, um, I don't know if I would uh, become a partner, partner kind of thing. I don't know. That's not why I'm doing the videos, which is probably just as well because they're useless. <laughs> I do need to fix a few issues still, uh, sound quality mostly. Um, that's the thing I'm going to have to have resolve on my uh, recording uh, machine. I do have a separate uh, computer which I use for to record, capture the audio and the sound. Um, it should work fine, it's just OBS is recording everything very quietly. Um, but I will get round to sort that out at some point. Possibly. <laughs> right, there. 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 Okay, turn it on. Is there enough power? Yes, with a little bit of overhead. Headroom, not overhead. Headroom. So now we'll go running all the way back, which is fine. We will get a slight speed boost from these Mark One conveyor belts, but uh, not much of a one. I'm curious. You can see that there's uh, just below the reticule there the little grey, well. Basically, it's um, used so when you put text in front of it, there's a darker area, so it doesn't matter where you're pointing at, if it's bright or not, the text will stand out, but there's no text showing. Which, in a way, I do like, because it would be a bit... It would start to get a bit annoying after a while when you're running along an empty uh, conveyor belt if it kept on saying conveyor belt mark one but when you like there you see blank there so that's fine I don't know if the devs will just stop it from showing up if there's no text to display that would be fine as well but if they don't it's it's nothing really um to worry about the bloom is a little bit um, strong shall we say but again that's fine it might particularly running down here and I'm going to stop it in a moment when you see it it's kind of like when you're out of the direction like when I was traveling that way uh, the reflections were creating uh, a pulsating uh, light, strobe light. So, hold on. Options. Uh, video. Uh, can't turn that off. That would be good if you could, because the last thing I would like to think is that uh, somebody watching my video just so happens to react negatively towards that strobe 
frequency and um, have an issue with uh, an epileptic attack. So being able to switch that off, the bloom off, that, that would be great. So not a criticism, just a, a random thought. So now, as you can see, we've got two plates and four rods. Them will be passed over to the next part of the process to convert two of them into screws. Now, while I'm here, I shall grab some of them and some of them and some plate and another bit of plate and I've got 165 so I'm going to grab some of this and that's enough and I'm going to go and pay for this uh, milestone as I say I want to get at least one milestone per episode There we go. Colour gun. Right, I'm going to uh, climb up here, have a look, and then probably bash me gums a little bit and then finish so yeah so got lots of resources coming in just they will come in very slowly um, but that's fine I will upgrade them conveyor belts that's going to take a lot but that will be after I get some kind of reasonable uh, production on all of those little bits that I need um, at that point, um, just out of curiosity, we've got copper ore. That isn't copper ore. I do know that there's some over this way, quite close. Iron ore is going to be the big thing. And there's two over here, some down there. So I can bring that in. Um, quite quickly um, and limestone that's fair enough I know I've got some there and some closer still but that's that's fine so bringing that in was quite a, a process but I've got all of that there coming in that's going to keep me quite busy for a while and then I can start bringing in the other resources now although I haven't got the ability yet I haven't researched it yet but we do have oil now whereabouts are you du, 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 du. I believe it's that one there I need to get up to the top of that uh, or in the area of that uh, waterfall and that's where one of the outposts are because about two kilometers behind that might be less actually by the time you get there there's the like the one of the the other biomes where the oil is so I can get it bring it to there take it to there that outpost and bring it down and that uh, can feed down into here but that's later on not now because I don't even have that research so yeah anyway this is a good time to uh, break off for now slightly run over the hour but that's okay it's only one hour and ten minutes coming up um, as I keep on saying if you've got any questions please let me know if you've got comments suggestions or whatever please let me know um,
so thanks very much for watching uh, if you like my videos please click on that like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to be notified when I put more content up click on the little notification bell and this is Commander Beverly Hunter um, until next time folks take care bye